Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. I have another Transformers Titans Return Review for you. Uh, this is Legend Class Gnaw. As you can see, he is a Sharkticon. Really nice art up here on the top of the card. And he comes packaged in robot mode. On the back here, you can see the robot mode, the Sharkticon mode, and then a quick little one-sentence bio that says, Autobots are the favorite food of this fearless Sharkticon. So, not too much going on in the back of the packaging, but he looks really cool. So let's go ahead, get him out of the packaging, and we'll take a closer look. Alright, so here is Gnaw out of the packaging. Uh, real quick, here is the little card that he comes with. Really great artwork here. I really like that a lot. I also really appreciate that they kept his original G1 name of Gnaw and didn't just call him Sharkticon, which we've kind of seen in the past. I know they definitely want to keep the trademark for both, so it's kind of good that they rotate them out every so often. Um, but you can see here is tech specs. Obviously, he does not have a Titan Master to link with him. Um, so there are no additional stats. It's just him on his own. Mostly strength, a little bit of firepower, not a whole lot of brain power going on. But nice card. Very collectible. Really nice artwork there on the front. Putting that off to the side and then just focusing here on Gnaw. Uh, first thing to note, he's definitely short. He's a short, squat, little bruiser. But I think it definitely works. I mean, that's, you know, for the character, the portrayal of Sharktacons, that's what they do look like. And I love the color scheme. They did a nice job with the gray and the pink and the sky blue color. Unfortunately, you do see that pretty much the Sharktacon head just completely hangs off the back. But it's not a big problem, and it does form nice heels, so he definitely has no problem standing. Uh, nice Decepticon symbol here on the chest. I kind of wish this front jaw sank into the chest just a little bit more. Because it does kind of obscure the head a little bit. If it could have just, you know, just like another little tiny centimeter or something. Um, but the head sculpt looks fantastic. I really think they did a great job with that. I just wish this sank down a little bit more so you could see it better. But overall, very happy with the robot mode. Especially for a Legends class figure. Uh, the little accessory can fit easily into his hand, so no trouble there. I mean, I kind of wish they had found a way to move these. Maybe even they just, like, unpegged and just pegged in here so they could be his backpack. So it would be a little bit closer to the original G1 toy. But that's just little nitpicky stuff. It's definitely a fun little robot mode as is. And they can't make everything look exactly like the original G1. I understand that. Uh, but yeah, I feel like there's just enough purple and pink and blue to break up the two different color grays so it's not too drab. I think they did a nice job there with the color scheme. And I like that the fin can go on the back. I think that's really neat as well. So again, oh, I should do articulation. Haha. -ha. Head can move from side to side. You have a ball joint here in the shoulder, a ball joint in the elbow. The hands and uh, forearms are all one solid piece. And then you have a ball joint in the hip. And then you have not quite 90 degrees in the knee, but I'd say like 45 to 50 degrees. And then obviously the legs and toes are all kind of one piece from the knee down. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's as much articulation as you'd, as you'd expect for the size class. I feel like it's definitely good for a Legends class figure. So let's go ahead and get into the transformation. So the weapon will actually be part of the transformation. It will form the tail of the Sharktacon. Uh, but the transformation is pretty easy to do. You're going to start by turning the head around 180 degrees. And then you're going to have to pull back. What I like to do at this point first is just go ahead and plug the tail in. You can see how one end has the obvious uh, peg for the fist. The other end has this kind of weird, like almost like a Chevy symbol. <laughs> kind of a wide cross and that's going to plug into this butt right here just like that i like to do that the directions how you do it later on but i feel like it's definitely easiest to do first and then you can just bring this back as far as it'll go and then they're all ready to go at that point you're going to rotate this whole part back so that the head rotates back into the chest here and then the lower jaw is where it's supposed to go you can bring the arms you're going to rotate them 180 degrees at the elbow, and then you'll see that this whole shoulder piece, and it's a little tricky to do, and sometimes you'll pop the ball joint of the shoulder off, but you can pop it right back in. You'll see how this whole joint right here, it slides back 
like this. And it's a little difficult the first couple times to get that in and out, but you can definitely do it. And then rotate this as well. Sorry, I have a... There we go. There's a piece of plastic was stuck on my finger and it kept catching my eye. In any case, uh, okay, so here we have the shark to come. Now you're going to fold back the head pieces. And you can see right here, there's a tab where my finger is and a tab where my finger is. And they're going to go into these two tab spots right here. So you're just going to kind of rotate this around. And then that'll peg in there. And then do the same thing with the other one. And then at the same time, you kind of have to peg the two heads into each other. Why is this giving me difficulty? There it goes. And then you can move the hands down and position the feet how you'd like. And then there you go. There is your tiny Sharktacon. I kind of wish the tail was a little bit bigger because it kind of just looks like it stops short and then there's just this little tail that hangs out. But I like it. It works. Um, I think they did a fantastic job with the face. The eyes are perfect. The whole mouth is perfectly designed. I love that. They did such a good job with that. You can move the hands up and down a little bit. You can also open the jaw. So if you open the mouth, like he's going to bite someone, and then you can bring it back down. Now if you bring it all the way down, there is a little bit of a gap here. Not a big deal. I mean, you know, it is what it is. I really don't... I mean, when you're looking at him head on, you're not even going to see it. So it's not that big a problem. And I do appreciate that you can open his jaws. Now you can kind of fit a Titan Master like he's eating him. You know, something like that. It's not like he can ride inside. Well, I don't know. The directions are not super clear. They kind of say, like, put inside. And I don't know if you can see in here. But I probably should have showed it off earlier. At the very inside of his jaw... I don't think I'm ever going to get... Let me see if I can get some light down in here. See in the bottom of his jaw there? There's two pegs, like, for a Titan Master. So, I'm not sure if you're supposed to try to put it in like this. And then close this over top. But that doesn't really fit. Or maybe you're supposed to do it the other way. Or maybe he's just supposed to look like he's hanging out like he he's biting him. I don't know. It doesn't 100% work. But I don't really need him to eat Titan Masters. I mean, he's just going to bite stuff. And he looks fantastic exactly the way he is, so I feel like you don't really need a Titan Master to ride inside. I think he looks really nice in this mode. And the nice thing about these, since they're only around $10 a piece, you could definitely buy a couple of them and kind of troop build, army build, to have a nice little army of Shark Decons. I definitely think Gnaw is a lot of fun, and I definitely think he's worth the $10 to $11, depending on where you pick him up. He's a great little figure. He's a great little representation of the Sharktacon figure from G1. There's a couple tiny nitpicky things you could complain about. I mean, the fact that he's just basically got the bottom head of the Sharktacon on the back of his heels, and they didn't have a way to make it his backpack. But, I mean, you could nitpick anything about any figure. I don't think it's worth not picking him up, especially since he's so cheap. And the nice thing about it, because it's so cheap, you could definitely consider army building this guy and having kind of a legion of Sharktacons, which could be a lot of fun. So I highly recommend at least picking up one of these guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and please like and share this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Gnaw, Legends Class Gnaw from Transformers Titans Return. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.